Hello everybody and welcome to County's second to last virtual assembly of this academic year. I also had the pleasure of presenting the second in our virtual assembly series and I couldn't help but think about what an enormous journey we have been on from then until now. So I wanted to start by saying the biggest thank you from me to every single person watching for supporting us and supporting the students through the roller coaster that has been the last 14 school weeks. But in true county style, we have got through it together. Now, the summer holidays are right around the corner and Google informs me that the 30th of July is the International Day of Friendship. Now, I started thinking about friendships and how they've been slightly different since the schools have closed. Now, in some ways, we've been really lucky, all of us, because there's lots of apps and lots of platforms that have allowed us to see our friends' faces and talk to each other, even if we can't be together. But ultimately, we know that nothing beats the face-to-face -face interaction and being able to give your friends a big squidge, which we still can't do. Now, some of you will know that I'm a biology teacher, so I love to science it up. And uh, there are lots of hormones that travel around our body and they give different messages. Um, some of them are happy hormones, so they genuinely make you feel happier. Oxytocin is one of those happy hormones and it's released for many reasons, but one of which is as a result of bonds that are formed as a result of relationships, whether that's friendships or whether that's family. So developing and building those friendships genuinely makes you physically and mentally happier. It's science. Now, for some of us, that's been really difficult while the schools have been closed and it hasn't come naturally to reach out and to keep in contact with our friends. But with summer around the corner, this is the perfect opportunity to do just that and to reach out and to make contact. Whether it's a friend that you haven't heard from in a little while and you just want to send them a quick hello. Whether it's someone that you get on really well with but you wouldn't normally talk to outside of school and you think, do you know what, actually I am, I'm going to say hello to them and see how they are. Whether it's a friendship group that you talk to quite a lot but you've just had a few days off. Sometimes all we really want to do is just sit quietly to ourselves and sometimes that's okay and that's what we need. But sometimes we really do need to take that step forward and reach out and try and communicate with our friends and build those bonds because it will genuinely make your life happier. Now, thinking about friendship, I found a poem that I thought summed it up really nicely and I'm going to read it to you from just behind. A person who will listen and not condemn. Someone on whom you can depend. They will not flee when bad times are here. Instead, they will be there to lend an ear. They will think of ways to make you smile so you can be happy for a little while. When times are good and happy thereafter, they will be there to share the laughter. Do not forget your friends at all, for they pick you up when you fall. Do not expect to just take and hold. Give friendship back because it is pure gold. So when you've had a day, when you've been on the sofa and you think, oh, I can't really be bothered, send that text or see that person at a social distance because it will pay off. Friends are people that make your life better and we want to grab hold of them as much as we can. I hope you all have the most wonderful, well-earned summer break and we cannot wait to welcome you back into school very, very soon. Take care, everybody.